Hi guys, this is Battle Me the Norbin Avenger Jr. Make sure you tune into my live interview with Steven Quirko on Power 98.5. Hi guys. We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the US to the UK, live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Thank you, everyone, for joining us live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5. We have my very, very good friend, Norbert Magic Noveni Jr., Bellator's middleweight, I'm going to say champion. He's 5-0, and oh, five wins, zero losses. And we're going to go deep into this brilliant talent. How are you, Norbert? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome, my friend. You've been signed with Bellator since April of 2018, right? Yeah, exactly. You were only, what, 19 at the time? No, I was 18. 18. 18. I was literally, yeah, in my last year in school. So so if I didn't, if I, like, I, I still had, like, two, three months left. If, it, if I had a bit more left, I probably would have dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I, listen, I really enjoyed school, but. I always knew that fighting was for me. That's well, at least the next until I'm at thirty ish. That was going to be my my life choice. So uh, yeah. Did you begin at the age of eighteen professionally, or when did it start? So yeah, I've been I've been training since I was a kid. Like I was doing karate when I was a year and a half. So I've always been involved with sports. I did dancing, uh, gymnastics, golf, everything you can think of. Literally everything. My dad made me do a lot of sports. So I get a very good um, so-called movement culture. Like, you know, uh, my coordination, everything gets better. Uh, and in 2011 or – no, yeah, 2011 or 2010, he opened his gym. And that's when I started training full-time. And I moved to England when I was 14, 2014. And then 2016, I had my, fir my first few amateur fights. And then 2018, I had my first – uh, pro debut and my second fight was already in Bellator so yeah it's a it's a fun journey it's been a fun journey and you're originally from Hungary yeah exactly how are you liking it in the UK oh, I love it here so I kind of grew up here now like all my friends are here uh half of my family is here my mom's married to someone who's English so at home we mainly speak English so yeah we're getting uh integrate into the in the uk culture a little bit <laughs> uh you've got uh some people that are looking up to you not only fans and and uh your supporters here and around the world but you've got younger siblings that are your role model for yeah so i've got uh a little brother and sister who i live with uh here in england and i've got another little brother who's in hungary with my dad they all fight uh, and yeah, like they, they literally my everything, especially the, the, the two, my little brother and sister who lives with me, they're literally like my own kids. So, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to have them. And they're blessed to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So after winning, uh, your match back in 2018, uh, you fought against Ben Earls. What did you learn or find out about yourself? Was it that? moment was that the pivotal point in your life or where was it to where you knew that you were rock solid in this career and you were going to move like so hard so strong oh that that was way before that I was probably like 11 12 
Uh, yeah, I actually have videos of me like training with adults, man, and tapping them out and, and being them up when I was 12. And uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, like, <laughs> it sounds it sounds very cocky, but it's true. Uh, but uh, I always, so my dad was doing it, uh, that he, he used to do Greco Roman wrestling and kickboxing after and going to MMA. So even on my mom's side, my uncle was a boxer. So it's always been in my family. And um, as a, it's, I feel like fighting is in your blood in a way. Uh, not just because of my family, but generally, if someone's a fighter, they they naturally a fighter. And uh, I I was probably eleven or twelve when I had my first like grappling tournament, and I won. Then I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the best in the world. So ever since then, it's, it's been ten years of solid, eleven years of solid work now. Uh, since I started, I was ten. Uh, and um, yeah, this I, I've known it since the beginning that I will become. I'm still not there, nowhere near. Be, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I will be the best in the world, and you will see it. There is still talk about your fight with Flurry. Uh, are you aware of how strong those topic points are about you and your reputation and what you've done in that match? Yeah, that was that was a huge match. Just like even even the so. There was a, a sold out arena in Dublin, uh, 13,000 people. And the uh, Dublin crowd, the Irish uh, are a bit different than to anywhere else. They they sing together. And you know, when you hear 13,000 people sing together the same song, mm. that just gets to you. You know, it's, it gives you the shivers. And when, I'm, when I went in there, there was 13,000 booze at the same time. So, uh, uh, and by the end, they were cheering. But that's that's one of the best if not the best experience i've ever had in my life uh, a lot loads of people a great fight against a very very good guy will will is, is super tough and and if anyone looks looks him up you know he's been beating some good good guys in in bellator so um he's 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 very tough and and uh on the day i was i was on point and and i could perform for those that are tuning in, we are also on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. I do have the photo that you sent to me, Norber, of you and Flurry together. Uh, it's a powerful photo of you there. The way, the respect. Uh, you know what one I'm talking about. It's like where you're like looking like you collapsed against his chest, but in a very good way. Uh, yeah. I mean, me and Will, we used to, uh, funny enough, we used to train together in London when I moved out here. Uh, when I was 15, we used to take the, the train back home. And uh, it is it is kind of hard because we always been very good friends. Uh, I remember just before I got signed to Bellator, maybe just after he got signed as well. And I remember we there was a Bellator show in London and we we're actually in the middle of the cage and we shook hands like, what's up, man? Long time no see. How are you? You know, just that, that casual talk. And uh, it was in the middle of the cage, and who would have thought that two years later uh, we would have been in, you know, in a cage and fighting each other? So uh, there is a so much respect towards him. He's such a nice. He's literally one of the nicest guys ever. Uh, so you know, I, I always respect everyone I fight. You know, unless they they're being uh, silly and uh, and talking trash. You know, I've got the utmost respect to anyone who steps into the cage. I'm gonna honestly say what I consider is you speak your truth and i know you refer it to as trash but you really don't come across as you know your typical fighter or people that are trying to get you know recognition or or to prove something you really hold your own and i'm going to tell you you do it in a very professional way you do it in a way that's very empowering because it doesn't look exaggerated it doesn't look ridiculous so i just want to let you know that uh, your presence in everything of who you are, Norbert, really translates very well. And I hope that you're proud of yourself and look forward to just continue to be uh, transparent and letting people have the opportunity to get to know you, even with some of the dances I've seen that you've done in your, your video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, thank you. I'm, you know, I'm still a kid, so <laughs> I still do a few childish things. But yeah, when I was when I was eight, when I had my first belt of fire, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying pretty hard. But the, at the time, that was me. I was someone who was trying really hard. And now, as I guess it's growing up and and maturing, but now I am literally myself, and uh, I'm I'm really like I'm very happy with who I became 
you know, and this is because of my my family, my history in that way, and long story short, and my coaches and my team around me. Uh, you know, they've been they've been putting. You know, when I was fourteen, I was getting beaten up for saying silly stuff. So um, I've, I'm I'm really glad with who I became. I'm still growing. You know, that's that's one of the things I'm I'm really into. I'm trying to find. I wouldn't say meaning, but I'm trying to find myself in this big world. Uh, but I'm I'm really enjoying what I'm doing now, and I'm literally just being myself. And and if people like it, they like it. I'm happy. If they don't, then you know they what they can do. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can swear here, so no, I probably good. won't. But you're good. You can you can imagine you can imagine what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, just go ahead, just spill it out. There's no censorship here. We're not on Walt Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I'm going to play a clip here from your Instagram. I really, really like this clip. I hope you're going to support me the same way in the future. I'm 19, next week I'm 20, and I'm going to be a fucking world champion. A world champion! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Melbourne Lavelia Jr. How do you like hearing that? What do you think? Yeah, as I said, one of my one of my great one of the greatest moments ever. <laughs> like, uh, as I said, thirteen thousand people are booing. Imagine that, thirteen thousand people. And what's even worse, that even from Hungary, I was getting a lot of uh, rubbish, like a lot of shit. They were giving me a lot of shit. Mm. Um, and and the thirteen thousand people booing you, and I'm like, I've never felt better. Like, you know what? I'll be the bad guy. You know when I can. All these people, like when you go online, you see a lot of people. And since I was a kid, I've been getting it. Like even, even just in normal life, you know, like people are saying this and that. And it's one of my things that that always been. I've got a little uh, diary, and, and it's re- written in there when people are saying that. Say so they said something silly, and I was like, you know what? We'll see when I when I become uh, a world champion, or when I become this and that. You'll be want to be you. You want to be my. You will want to be my friend. And now I've got people messaging me that I haven't, you know, I haven't spoken to in time, and and telling other people how, like, I'm their best friend and stuff like that. So uh, I, I like proving people wrong. And uh, and that, that 30,000 booze just gave me more energy. Like, it probably gave me more energy than uh, when I fought in Hungary. I had, like, six, 7,000 people cheering for me. And and that that wasn't as, nowhere near as good as the 30,000 booze. And those 30,000 booze became cheers. And that's, like, yeah, it's very hard to, very hard to explain. It's an experience that, not a lot of people get to experience in this in this in this world and probably less than less than zero point zero 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 one percent of people and I'm one of those people and I'm just so so blessed to to be in this position. And you are perfectly who you are in a way that you express to yourself to where it just once again it translates so very well so very professional and i'm going to play this little clip here this is the whole point and where you're going to have your balance norbert from the naysayers to the yay sayers to you know transitioning with the way your fans uh your your supporters are this is a clip uh from espn so the guy, the guy that I, I had, I, obviously I'm fresh off of it. So I, the reason why I'm going to throw him out there is Nor, Norbert Novigny Jr. I, oh yeah, he's nice. He should have been on that list. Nineteen years, twenty years old. He just turned twenty years old. Uh, great performance against Flurry, and um, yeah, he should have been on that list. Yep. Those are the guys. Those should. are the guys that I've I've seen in Bellator. So, Tell us about that. So yeah. Oh oh my God. So. This is a funny story as well because just before that, Brendan Shaw, who's like a, I don't know how big he's in, in just in general life, but he's like used to be in the UFC, used to be a big fighter. Then he went into like stand up comedy, but he's got a few big uh, podcasts. And uh, just before that fight, one of my friends, uh, one of my friends were like, uh, oh, I can't wait until Joe Rogan and Brendan Shaw talks about you after that fight, Brendan Shaw. Then a week later, Josh Thompson and Big John, where everyone just heard. Big John McCarthy and Josh Thompson, two legends, and they talk about me like that. And and that's one thing I remember. Again, we were in London in a Bellator show, and I was in the uh, back. I was backstage. I was warming up uh, one of my teammates, and uh, I walked past Big John, and I remember he winged at me. I was like, wanted to say that that you you you'll be calling my fights at like, at some point, but then that's a bit too cliche. So I was like, you know what, I just leave it out. And you know when these guys talk about you and and Josh Thompson, who I'm 
look up to because he's been a legend in the sport. And and if they t- when they talk about it like that, he's just yeah. Again, all I can say, I'm blessed. I'm I'm just so happy. And you know, now playing this back, and obviously I haven't I haven't listened to this in a long time, but like, yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> I like I love giving these uh, re clips or doing this because it really gives a perspective because you're so used to, you know, professionals like yourself, go, 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 training, eating, sleeping. Like you get, you rarely go back and reflect until you make the time to go back and reflect. So to bring in moments like this really helps give you a different perspective or an added perspective, Norbert, that you really deserve to have. Thank you. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I like to be to be honest with you. I like going back to see to watch fights and 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 I like reliving. Really I like that's why I love taking pictures. Uh, I just like reliving past moments. And you know, people say don't live in the past, but you know, sometimes past feels really good. Even if it wasn't a good time, sometimes it can feel good. It can remind you of shit, man. You got through that, or wow, what a great time! How you're so lucky to have the friends you've got. And stuff like that. So I do go back here and there, but actually that video I haven't seen in a long time. So yeah, that felt really good. And it's and you're right. You hit the box nails through the board with one hammer swing on that. It is imperative, even when you least expect it. Sometimes the past just is here to acknowledge um, your own personal growth and success, and you know where you go through life, and even at times will help. And I'm saying this from experience. And I know you can most likely will agree to help set sometimes a better direction than where or what you would or where you may be thinking that you're meant to go or want to go. And then, Ooh, all right. No, this is this help with this decision. I'm making the right decision this time and I'm sticking with it. No, yes. I totally agree with you. I want to I want to play this clip right here. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. It's just you giving a, um, I thought it was like a regular video, but it was just one of those loop videos. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> go to three and oh, inside the Bellator cage. He was magical tonight. Well, Florian talked about they had trained together a long time ago. And Obeni, when I talked to him yesterday. This is the one with you and Will Flurry. And I love how you, you yeah. incorporate the magic in there because you are magic. Who gave you that? Thank you. Who gave me the name Magic? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, uh, a lot of people think I'm Channing Tatum, so they always call Magic Mike, which is one story I tell, but it's not true. <laughs> uh, no, I was, I was, uh, oh, I wish I looked like him. <laughs> uh, I was, um, I'd say 10, right? And uh, mm-hmm. I lived in Hungary. I didn't really speak English that well. Okay. Um, and my mom was like, oh, let's start, let's, let's get you an a email address. And I was like, all right, fair enough. Just for your information, I was very cocky at the time. Which I still am. But I was really cocky. And I was like, you know what, let's let's call me in Hungarian. I said, like, Magical Norbert. Mm-hmm. But like, Magical Norbi. But then it just, I translated to Magic Norbi. And it stayed with me. I used it as a username on Instagram or and Facebook and everywhere. And uh, it just blew up. And when I moved here, everyone was like, all my uh, schoolmates started laughing at it. And they were like going along with it. And in Hungary as well, people started picking it up. So I was like, you know what? I just keep it. It just fits me. Because when I go into that cage, I'll do magic. So, uh, yeah, it just end up, you know, staying with me. So far, Norbert, what is the best thing that you've learned to love and respect about yourself in your life? Whew, I say my great. I I don't even know. It's it's very hard because I always say I've got my two biggest, my 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 best feature and my worst feature is is myself, is my brain, my head. Because sometimes my head puts me to to the a great to great places, and and I, I've got great belief in myself, and and I love learning and stuff like that. But at the same time, myself is one of my biggest opponents i i'm very um judgmental about myself and stuff like that so i would really have to sit down and and think it through i would really have to sit down and think it through to answer that so yeah what would you like to share to those before we close out what would be the best advice 
that you can offer to anyone in the world, whether they're going to be getting into boxing, MMA, football, or even just someone that's an everyday person that loves their life and whether they work in corporate company or entertainment, what would you like to share with that person or those people to help make their life better and easier? The biggest secret I've ever received, like biggest advice and secret I've ever received was do what you want to do, what you love, do what you're passionate about. Because if you do something that you love and what you're passionate about, you will never work a day in your life and you will be happy. And even if the days are bad, you'll remind yourself that, look how lucky I am, I'm doing what I love. So that's that's one thing that I tell everybody, all my friends, everyone I meet, do what you love. Don't chase money. Don't chase this, that. Chase, do what you love and money will come with that. So success will come with that. Just do and put 100, 120, 200% into it. Just make sure that you do what you love. Exactly. Exactly. Perfectly said. I want to thank you very much for being with, with us today live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5. We've been on YouTube Live today, Facebook Live. I want to thank everyone for joining us all over on the Alexa app, the Power 98.5 satellite radio app. I want to give a warm shout out also to uh, Hus Rajip at Hus Rajip Productions for making me an incredible intro outro that you're listening to right now. Wanted something. I told him, can you make something Avengers or Superman style? Like I just needed like an upgrade here. So it works really well. Uh, what would be the best go-to channel for you, Norbert? Is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? Where would you like people to reach out to you? Yeah, it's Instagram and Facebook. I've got both pages. I use Instagram mainly. Facebook, I just post, but I don't really look at it. But it's Instagram. If anyone's got any questions or anything, I try to answer as many messages as possible. Give your uh, handle, Norbert. It's at magic, N-O-R-B-I, Magic Norby. Any closing thoughts before we head on out? I, I just want to thank you so much for having me. It, it was a pleasure, and I really appreciate it. You deserve it, my friend. Hold the line. I thank want to you. thank, once again, everyone for tuning in today from here and all across the world. Uh, I know it's evening out there in the UK. We are now going in about 2.30 here in the States on the East Coast. And you know what? Norbert, real quick, we've got to ask this. Do you have a fight coming up? Uh, not at the moment, not that I know of, but as soon as I've got one, I will post about it and I will let you know. Awesome. Norbert, you're all, you, you are beyond amazing. And I say this because what I see in you and I I've got the, uh, the live streaming of, uh, YouTube up right now. And I'm looking at your photo in front of the step and repeat the Bellator MMA. And you've got the red mask on. You are a power, power powerhouse who's powerful that's going to be doing impressive great things and i believe everything about who you are like you said where you're like in your head um it's going to work in your favor it's going to be your compass thank you you're welcome thank you thank you everyone for joining us today mr norbert magic noveni jr thank you socials and let's connect.